in Chongdong. The weather is so beautiful, a perfect day to walk around the city. But where is Alex? She's supposed to meet me here today to guide me around the city. She must be running late. Hmm. Where is Alex? A few moments later. Hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, oh. I'm so late. Are you okay? It's okay, it's okay. As long as you give me a good tour today. All right, well, you're lucky because I'm your tour guide for okay. today. Mm. So, have you ever heard about anything about Chengdong? Uh, I have heard something like it's a city with something history and culture that exists coexist together. So that's right. Yeah. So, Chengdong is actually a representative attraction right in the middle here mm. in Seoul. And what you said was correct too. So it's traditional, historical culture and contemporary and modern coexisting in one place, dating back to the Joseon dynasty. Mm -hmm. Chengdong was newly formed through the urban renovation project of King Gojong during the Korean Empire and is a space that combines the independence of the people, such as Toksugong Palace, Yongjae Palace, Angelican Cathedral, and the Seoul Metropolitan Council. It is a sacred place of national independence and the democratic movement, including the March 1st movement, the April 19th revolution, and the June uprising. You can see on our left, this ah. kind of traditional Hanok style wall. Uh -huh. And on the right side, you can see a modern city hall building. Yes! So yeah, we're I can literally see. walking right in the middle of both modern and cultural historical architecture. Wow, that sounds really interesting. I'm so excited to explore the city with you today. So actually, the first place we're going to mm -hmm. is the Seul Maru. I think you'll really like it. Seul Maru, okay. So let's go. Let's go. Uh -huh. from up top here is really beautiful. You can see both the historic and cultural Yes, places, this building. And also modern architecture up here too. Ah, it's I a see. lot different from walking on the streets of Seoul. Everything at the rooftop you can see from high. Oh, yes, that's right. Cecile Morrow is part of the promotion project for urban regeneration. In collaboration with the Seoul Metropolitan City and the Angelican Church of Korea, it was built to restore the historic and unique nature of Chandong. It is an open resting area and cultural space built above the Cecile Theater, right on the rooftop. I think I need to take some selfie yeah, photos let's some or photos. yeah, I like this building. One, two. Stay here all day with a cup of Americano. Come on, we have to continue. We want to keep going on the tour. Where to? Right underneath the Cecil Theater. Oh, really? Yeah, let's go. Oh, let's go. Okay. But I need Americano. No. <laughs> it holds Korea's modern history and architectural values, as well as theatrical arts and culture. Opened in 1976, it served as the epicenter of small theater movement in the 1970s and 1980s, staging themes that conveyed the message of that time. It was closed in January 2018, but reopened in the spring of the same year through the support of the Seoul Metropolitan Government. Unfortunately, it's currently closed due to COVID, 
but it's a beautiful theater with rich history. The Cecile Theater is an intimate theater right in the center of Seoul with a historical background. Oh, let's go inside. Oh, actually, due to COVID-19, we can't right now. Oh man, I'm so disappointed. I want to go inside. Yeah, but it's okay. I have something even cooler to show you. Okay. Oh, this way, let's go. Okay. Ta-da! This is Seoul Hall of Urbanism and Architecture. Are Same you thing. Are you kidding me? This is it? Yeah. So this one floor with a cafe? There's more than meets the eye. This building actually has three floors underground. Oh, three floors. Curious about what's inside? Uh, sure, let's go inside, <laughs> quickly. The Seoul Hall of Urbanism and Architecture was built as a social contribution project to help restore the historical significance of the location where the annex to the tax office once stood during the Japanese occupation. Above all, being across the city hall has political and cultural significance. As Korea's very first urbanism and architecture specialized exhibition hall, it includes a citizen's public space and three lower basement levels for extensive galleries and an underground walkway connecting with Seoul Citizens Hall. We still have one more place to visit. Still one more place? I have learned a lot so far. I'm so tired. Can we take a break? This place you don't want to miss. What? Yeah. You don't want to walk down this path with your boyfriend or your lover. What? Why? There's a whole legend about it. Come on, I'll show you. Okay, I use all my strength to go with you. Okay, let's, let's go. go. <laughs> ah, we're almost there. Uh -uh. there. Let's go. I'm so tired. Where are we almost, going? Literally, we're almost right there. <laughs> wow. This world? This whole thing. It's hard on Wow. So many people here. Yeah, it's a really busy body place here. It's really popular for taking a stroll. Uh, so but... what's special about this place is mm -hmm. you should never walk with your lover or your boyfriend down this path. What's wrong with this wall? <laughs> that I cannot go with my lover? Well, they say that this path leads you to the family court, uh -huh. which means if you're walking with your lover, you're on your way walking to get your divorce papers signed. So you will eventually separate. <laughs> so if I go to the end of this wall with my lover, that means we are going to breaking up. Exactly. Oh. So that's why you should not walk down this path okay. with your boyfriend or lover. I see. So are we going to break up after this e episode? Bye! Uh, bye. This path is almost 900 meters in length and is the first successful attempt at creating an urban space where people and nature coexist in harmony. You can see old palaces and historic architecture from both sides along the road. In the autumn, it's popular to visit for the beautiful autumn foliage, and in the spring, the cherry blossoms bloom. At night, it has a different feel with the ground lights lit up for a romantic stroll. Alex, so much for guiding us today. I have learned a lot about Cheongdong. Uh, did you guys enjoy our tour today too? If you did, make sure to visit Cheongdong and see it yourself. I believe the best part is all these places are just a walk away, a great way to learn about history, modern architecture, and nature in the centralized zone of Seoul. So I will see you guys next time with Alex. Bye!